Hello everyone, welcome back to Nimsight. Today, as part of the Australia series, I've got a, a very special video that I thought could be helpful for a whole lot of people out there, whoever is planning to come to Australia. So it is like a checklist or things to keep in mind before you come to Australia. So let's move on to the video. So the first item on the list is make sure you have all these documents handy and you also have prepared some copies etc of these important documents. So some of them on, on my list are passport, birth certificate, your vaccination related proofs and other documents, your driver's license, your any medical records or x-ray or anything that you think you might need a care in the future make sure you have them your prescription for any medicines that you're carrying you need to get it signed from a doctor otherwise you might not be allowed to bring it to australia make sure you have them and uh, your lens or spectacles whatever you use you need to have those as well your airline tickets itinerary your forex card now forex card you can fill with a payment of around hundred dollars i didn't have to use my forex card a lot so it's up to you I don't think uh, filling it with a major amount is that important just for emergency it's good to have it. So these are some of the documents that I could think of. If there's anything extra that anyone wants to add you can put it down in the comments. Apart from these the other documents such as your mark list, your originals of other school records, your uni records etc. It is good to have all of those documents uploaded to your drive or somewhere safe. You might not be asked for originals here in Australia. At least in my experience in my job interviews or anything, I was not asked to bring those or I was not asked to show them. So you can, you know, you can have them safe, but you don't have to bring them to Australia. The next thing on the list is research the accommodation options here. If you are an international student who is coming to Australia, I did a video about some accommodation website that you can have a look at. It's called Ember Student. I'll place the link uh, in the description and also the link will pop here. You can check those out. And for other people also, there are a lot of options. You can search Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree, Airbnb, etc. These uh, Through these, you can find accommodation options and the next thing to do is you can apply for international driver's permit so this will allow you to drive once you come to australia and this is really handy if you are looking at part-time opportunities which are related to driving such as uber uber eats etc so make sure you can uh, you carry your international driver's license as well as you apply for this permit the next thing that I highly recommend that you should do is changing your postpaid number to prepaid number along with just international roaming facility available. This can save you a whole lot of money because I remember paying unnecessarily a huge amount of money every month because my there was a fixed amount because my connection was postpaid. So it's a thing to keep in mind. The next thing is that if you're planning to carry some electrical appliances from India, etc., make sure you bring those adapters that would, uh, you know, that would accommodate the Australian socket. It's a bit different or you carry an extension cord at least because normally they look different. Of course, you can get those adapters here as well in Indian store and Chinese stores as well. But if you have it and if you're getting it at a low cost there, make sure you bring them along. The next thing to keep in mind is if you are coming here for good, yeah, if you are coming here for PR, migrating permanently or in other cases also if you want to change your subscriptions, cancel any you know Netflix or any other subscriptions that you might have or change or update any details with any providers, make sure you do that before coming here because reaching customer care and calling them from here to you know for example an Indian number or an Indian toll free number could take you ages and it could be a hassle so do it well in advance next thing that i think could be handy is convert and carry some extra cash with you for example hundred dollars uh, you know uh, indian money or any other currency to australian dollars convert it and have it with you just in case of any emergency and make sure you keep that amount with you or put in your carry baggage and not 
any valuables i won't recommend putting any valuables in the luggage that passes through and finally make sure you update any of your close contacts with your accommodation details or any other details that you have while you are in australia so that they can reach you in case of any emergency so this is the full list if there's anything that comes to your mind put it down in the comments i will also do a separate video on things you need to do first after landing here in australia there are more such helpful videos in the australia series based on my experience so far in australia hope you enjoy watching this series thank you then share in this video is based on personal experience and research if you enjoyed the video like share and subscribe keep watching keep listening and continue learning